They said they wanted me to go out and to go out and do this and do that. No, are you sure they weren't saying that you had to get ready to go to the lunch club? No, for a fact. No, they didn't, they didn't think about the blood lunch. Hey, you you swear, don't swear in front of this gentleman. No, they don't. They didn't do anything. So what, did they, what were they talking about then? I don't know. I don't know what happened to them. I don't know because sometimes I do swear. Swear. Mm -hmm. I know you do. I do swear. I know but do. Not very often. But I do swear and I couldn't remember. Uh, Remember let, me, let me have a get me down, yeah. Find so, out. I'll ring you later. I just left him, left him, left him. We well, weren't at lunch club now, so it doesn't matter, does it? Not really, that no. Well, I don't know now. Gee, well, I don't know what's for lunch today. I don't know. Is Tom coming today, do we know? Oh, yeah, Tom. Who's Tom? Who lives down I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know, Tom. You're supposed to check up for me. Make my job easier. I don't know, Tom, whoever Wait till Tom he gets is. on the bus, then. Oh, no, well, You know, because he normally sits where you're sitting. I've never seen this. Aren't you? Oh, no. right. OK, wait till we get on. Sure, it's right weather, though, isn't it? Yes, Yeah. yeah. I'm out working. Oh. Oh, now this away. is Tom. Hey. No, but well, you just told me you didn't know it was. I've just seen I'm on the road. Man. She told me she didn't know you were. <laughs> I'll be hey. I thought I was getting a cuddle. No, not a cuddle, a seatbelt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're very small in numbers today, aren't we? Where's Annie's? Annie's out of the hospital. She's got hospital. Yeah. Oh no. Ada's at the hospital. Doreen's at the hospital. Oh, hospital. Vera's still away with the sun. <laughs> the lunch club was started 38 years ago when we had a new young minister who had this bright idea of serving the community and the older people. You're welcome. Who's coming? Jane, come on, darling. We're now sort of numbers-wise about 15 on a Tuesday and about 12 on a Wednesday. I've got your time, though. Oh, right. Does it go with the blue? Yes, it does. <laughs> Oh yes, oh yes, you might. I'm starving. Thank you, Doug. I would, I would, went down the pit when I was 14 and that was my lot. Yeah, it would be. How long were you down the pit? Uh, from being 14 to being uh, 18. Oh, so you were there when it was being done? I mean, my dad was a minor all his life. He was a, a deputy and then a number If you don't like your job, you may as well be dead. That's well, the main, true. main part of your life. Yeah. It's something I used to do myself. Looking after people, young people, disabled people. I work in a hospital for 17 years after people seeing, watching people die and this like people died on your arms and your lifting hefty women, putting them in the bath, make sure they clean and you know and stuff like that. Yeah. No I find myself in a in a state where I cannot see, I can oh my god it's not very nice. And I met my wife in Sheffield, yes. and we're still together, <laughs> but she's in a home now. She... And we, we've been married 62 years now. Really? On this 
atmosphere as well. Yeah. I think it's the company, it's not so much the food. Although I think it was probably food more originally. A lot of them, it, it's the only time they get, uh, they go out, one or two, it's the only time they go out in the week. It's always been funded by grant work from, uh, from the Sheffield Corporation and, and now we are finding it a bit difficult. It may be that uh, if we have to, that we go down to one day. Uh, the free transport that we've had for 30 odd years was uh, withdrawn last year and we now, the, the clients contribute to the transport themselves. And the people that come to our lunch club would find it very difficult to use other types of transport. Yeah, I think we still do provide a service to people who would otherwise be very isolated. You meet people and you always have a, a nice meal. Passes an hour or two of your time as well. My wife died 13 months ago. After 60 odd years of marriage, and it's left me very lonely. But I'm in sheltered accommodation, and it's very good. What cottage pie, anybody? Thank you. Now, time is meaningless. I can do what I like, when I like, but I'd rather be as I was. You've got your meat and your veg. Okay, you got your cabbage in front, and I think That's it's dead and parsnips and potatoes, and a couple of, yeah. you want some gravy? Yeah. Everybody goes in. This weekend I've been living on toast, to be quite honest. Because uh, I, well I've got tins in, but I didn't want to open any tins. Lots of tins of salt. As they are the last out of our family. Me both my brothers were younger than me and they both gone. I like to come because I meet all these different uh, friends, you know. Gets me out of my flat. You get fed up of sitting and sitting and sitting. Don't people sit at nine you don't know your neighbours, you see. I know my next door. But upstairs, I couldn't tell you who they are. Because there's four more flats upstairs. I don't know who they are. If I see them, they speak, and I speak back to them. But I couldn't tell you their name at all. I don't know. They're not English. None of them, I don't know. <laughs> it's always covered, isn't it, Jake? Then it's my deal. Yeah. Mm. You still like it again? No, yeah. Oh. And I couldn't tell you since I had the last two minutes. Don't you want no rice pudding? Yeah, well, I enjoyed that dinner. Mm -hmm. I would have enjoyed that. I'm not one for afters, really. Don't hear anybody talk. And you can go and visit the vehicle. It's at the Wheatley Road, Doncaster. Nice to see you. I know. Go on here, let's have you. All these bloody heavy bags. Where are them bloody bags? Cheers, <laughs> Tom. See you next week. What's the bus for those who want to go? The bit of money that we, we've 
gathered over the years, it's now been eaten into. So, uh, but we carry on and hope that we can carry on while ever there is a, a need. <laughs>